Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be sampling some very exciting fragrances, niche fragrances that I have been wanting to try for a very long time. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I am so so happy to have you here with me and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's get into today's video. All right guys, so for today's video, I am going to be sampling a few fragrances that I have been dying, dying, dying to try out. And I had the opportunity to try those fragrances out with sensegift.com. So today's video is sponsored by sensegift.com. And I want to thank them so, so much for sending these fragrance decants over to me and just giving me this opportunity because I am super excited for today's video. Sensegift.com sell niche and luxury fragrance decants so you can try out the fragrances before you commit to purchasing a full-size bottle which as we all know fragrances are expensive and we would love to try all of them but we would go broke if we bought every single bottle that we thought sounded interesting or that we thought we might like so with sensegift.com you can try out a very big variety of niche fragrances i went on the website i searched through all of the fragrances and they have so much to offer so this website is perfect for all of those people who are perfume collectors or just perfume perfume lovers, you just love to try new perfumes, this is the type of website for you. So you can choose from different sizes. I saw on the website that they have different sizes available. So you can get 2 ml, 5 ml, and 10 ml size decants and the bottles are super cute. I'm going to show you guys everything in a second. That is one of my favorite things about the website was that you can choose the size of your decant. So if you just want like a small sample, you don't want to spend too much money, you can do that. And if you want a bigger size, decant you can also do that so they offer free shipping to the u.s when your order is 60 dollars or more and they also do this for canada orders as long as your order is 95 dollars or more go ahead and check out sensegift.com and also subscribe to their newsletter so that you can receive coupons and you can also be up to date for the latest additions to their website and i am also going to be sharing a discount code with you guys that they were kind enough to give to me for you guys and this code is not an affiliate code. It's just a 20% off code. So you can enter Amy 20 at checkout for your order and you can get 20% off of your order. And if you guys want to take advantage of this coupon, make sure that you do it soon because they did give me an expiration date for the coupon and that is October 24th. So you can use a coupon up to that day. So let's go ahead and let's get on to the super fun part. But before I get started, thank you once again, Sense Gift, for allowing me to share this with my subscribers. I'm super, super thankful. So this is the box that I received from Sense Gift and they come super well packaged. I fell in love with the packaging. So here is the little box that you're going to get when you order. And then when you open it up, you have your fragrances just packaged really, really nicely. This is what I like about the website. They're just very neat. Everything looked very organized on the website. I felt like it was just very easy to pick everything. And I did get here two pouches and I have different sizes so that you guys can see these sizes. So I think this is the biggest size available and the packaging is super, super nice. It's a twist cap and you can spray from right here. So really, really nice for travel. They label the fragrance that you are getting. And then the next size down from that one is this one right here. So it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to put them side by side. And then here I have a bunch of smaller ones. So these are really, really nice for actually sampling the fragrance before you decide if you want a bigger decant or if you want to go ahead and purchase the full size bottle because you got to try it out. So these sizes are really, really nice. So now let's get started into the sniffing party. I cannot wait to smell these with you guys. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have tried a lot of these fragrances. I have been dying to try 
by the fragrances that I chose. I was super, super picky. I went through every single fragrance that they had because I wanted to take advantage and try out these fragrances that I have been wanting to try forever, but I just didn't want to commit to blind buying a full size of these fragrances. And now if I love them, I am more confident with purchasing them. So we are going to start off with Lilabo and this is Santal 33. This is such a popular fragrance. I have been hearing so much about it all over YouTube and I was dying to try it out. So the main accords for this fragrance are woody, powdery, leather, warm, spicy, and violet. The notes are sandalwood, leather, papyrus, Virginia cedar, violet, cardamom, iris, and amber. So I am going to go ahead and spray this and see what this fragrance is all about. Oh, wow. I like the way that the fragrance sprays out as well. Oh, okay. I'm getting the vibes. I really like this. Okay, so right off the bat, the first thing that I thought of, you guys know that I like to give you fragrance uh, comparisons. That way you kind of get like the vibe that I'm getting. So as soon as I sprayed this, I thought of the Bois de Balancourt number four is, I believe is the fragrance, but I like this one better because that other fragrance that I had that I got from a Sephora sampler, I thought that I was going to love it and I sprayed it the other day and it gave me the worst headache ever, ever. I had I right away put it in the declutter bin, but I am going to give it another chance. I feel like I was a little bit harsh with that one, but this one smells like that, but there's like this like creamier, smoother vibes to this one. So I'm getting a very woody fragrance. It's very woody. But then I think that iris is like smoothing out the fragrance. It makes it a little bit powdery and it doesn't make it like as sharp and as rough as a very woody fragrance can be. I feel like it's very smooth. Really, really nice. I am going to spray some of these on my skin, but I want to kind of be like selective with the ones that I spray on my skin because I don't want to fill myself up with too many fragrances, but first impression of Santal 33 is that it is just very, it's woody, it's powdery. It's for those people who don't enjoy like floral scents or like very fruity scents or anything like that. Nothing gourmand. This is more on the woody, like natural side. You just smell comforting. And I feel like this is very unisex as well. A man can totally pull this off as well as a woman. And I definitely see it as a fragrance that you can wear pretty much anywhere. It's like a very easygoing type of fragrance. So that is the first one. This is Santal 33 from Le Labo. Next up, we are going to be doing another Le Labo fragrance and this one is another 13. I'm going to be putting pictures of the fragrances up on the screen so that you can see what the bottle looks like. And the main accords for this fragrance are musky, amber, woody, animalic, powdery, and floral. The top notes are pear, apple, and citruses. Middle notes are ambrette, amyl, salicylate. I probably said that wrong. Jasmine and moss. And the base notes are iso e super, helvetolide, ambrotolide, and cetalox. Wow. Very interesting uh, notes that I haven't heard of before or seen. So let's try this one out. I have seen many people love this one as well. So I was very curious about this one. Ooh, I love this one way more than Santal 33 for sure. This one has a more feminine vibe to it. It's so delicate. It's like very pretty. This is beautiful. This is the type of fragrance that I have been very into lately where it's kind of like second skin. I'm pretty sure that this will marry into your skin so beautifully and just kind of like become one. It doesn't really feel like a strong fragrance or anything like that. It just feels very, very pleasant. It's really nice. It's musky. It's fresh. It's clean, feminine. I get a little bit of florals in there, but it's light. It's not like a very sharp or heavy floral. This is gorgeous. I'm going to spray this one on my skin because I really, really think that I would like a bottle of this. It's so beautiful and it's perfect for every day, perfect for casual wear, or perfect for those people who don't like heavy perfumes, who get headaches easily, or you have allergies or things like that. I feel like these types of fragrances are perfect for that. It just smells so good and musky. I really, really like this one. I mean, I kind of knew that I was going to like this one because I really love fragrances with ambrette. 
there's also really nice top notes in here and i was just worried about like the ambery touch but honestly the amber in here is probably like the best amber that i have ever smelled because amber can be very very annoying to me and like very headache inducing i kind of run away from heavy amber fragrances but this is beautiful so that is that one all right so we're moving on to a bit of a bigger size and these come with a little cap and this is mancera holidays so i have been hearing so much about this fragrance ever since i started on youtube and just watching a bunch of fragrance videos this fragrance always came up as like a really nice fragrance for summertime for vacation and i do live somewhere that is just very humid and hot most of the time so the main accords for holidays are sweet vanilla coconut white floral yellow floral marine woody powdery aromatic and lectonic the top notes are coconut and bergamot, middle notes are tiari flower, ylang ylang, and sea notes, and the base notes are vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white musk. Okay. Wow. I love the sprayer here, the automizer. It's really, really nice, and it sprays like very wide, so you can just do like one or two sprays and you pretty much are covered. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so this to me beautiful beautiful fragrance i love it this is a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance now i'm glad that i sampled it because this would be a little too redundant in my collection it reminds me of kkw body 2 which you guys know i love that fragrance and it has been discontinued so maybe when i'm done with that bottle i would definitely pick this one up so if you weren't able to get your hands on the kkw 2 fragrance or body two fragrance this is definitely close to it mm, it's like a creamy coconut you get the tropical florals to me it's very creamy and smooth i definitely get the florals but they're so smooth with that coconut and the vanilla it just makes it a very smooth beautiful beautiful tropical floral type of fragrance it gives me that same vibe almost like tom ford soleil blanc even though that one has a little bit more of like a spice to it because i get a lot of the cardamom in that one this one doesn't have that so this one to me is actually a little bit more wearable and i feel like more crowd pleasing and I love the feminine touch at the end. I feel like it might be even better than my KKW Body 2 fragrance. So once I'm done with that one, I think this will be the one that replaces that fragrance. I love it. So let me know if you own Mancera Holidays, how you feel about it, or how you feel about any of these fragrances that I have talked about. Let's move on to the next one, which each one just keeps getting more and more exciting because I have been just hearing so much about this one as well. Okay, so this one is BDK Parfums and this is Passessoir. I think that's how you say it. I have been wanting to try this fragrance forever. So the main accords are woody, white floral, fruity, warm, spicy, sweet, citrus, amber, floral, fresh, and musky. The top notes are ginger, mandarin, orange, and black pepper. Middle notes are quince, Moroccan jasmine, orange blossom, and the base notes are cashmere, amber wood, and patchouli. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one. I'm so, so excited. Ooh, definitely a strong opening. I definitely get the ginger, the mandarin orange, and the pepper kind of like mixed together. So just, you know that ginger is very like spicy, fresh spicy. Ooh, and then it starts kind of like calming down. So you definitely just get like that blast of very strong pepper. It's very, very strong pepper and ginger. If it would have stayed that way for a long time, it would have been a pass for me, but... It's to me, it's just very, I feel like this one's a little bit more of those fragrances that you need to dress up for. It's a little bit more like sophisticated to me. It's a little bit more of like a evening type of fragrance, but still easy going at the same time. It's not too fancy or anything like that, but I definitely don't see it as like a casual type of fragrance is definitely not that, but it's really, really feminine. I'm going to spray this one on my skin. I'm going to put this one right here. 
It's definitely a more going out fragrance for me. It's not a fragrance that I would wear every day, but as a fragrance to wear to like a special event, a dinner, a birthday party, a wedding, places that you just want to feel a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more put together. This is definitely for that type of occasion. It's not my favorite though because I feel like I can get a headache from this. I'm just getting a lot of patchouli in here and I think that's what's kind of like turning me away from this fragrance. Yeah, I definitely get a lot of patchouli. So if it wasn't for that, which is crazy because in the main accords, no one says anything about, like there's no patchouli there, but I definitely get patchouli. It's like that patchouli that I don't, enjoy it's a little too much for me so wow that's crazy because i was really really excited about that one okay so the next one is another bdk fragrance and this one is rouge smoking so this one is the biggest one that i received i love the packaging so the main accords are vanilla sweet powdery amber cherry musky almond woody and balsamic the top notes are cherry, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes are black vanilla husk, heliotrope, and orange blossom. And the base notes are tonka bean, cashmere wood, white musk, and broxen, labdanum, and violet. So let's see what this one's all about. This is another one that I was super, super excited to try out. Ooh, this one is way better. This one's really nice. Oh, this one is nice, you guys. Wow. Wow. It's kind of giving me like Love Fest Burning Cherry, but a little bit more refined. Oh, this is so, you know what it is? It is the almond, you guys. This doesn't have almond. So the notes don't show any almond. There's cherry, which cherry can sometimes give like an almondy vibe. There's the vanilla, there's the cashmere and the tonka. This is definitely a fragrance that I need in my collection because it's the perfect balance of like a cherry that smells like almond. <laughs> like it kind of gives me almond vibes. I need to spray this on my skin. This is beautiful. It's sweet. It's vanilla, it's like almondy, it's cherry. It's gourmand, but then it's not too gourmand. Like you don't smell like you're literally like a walking dessert. It's not like that. It still has like this feminine, just sexy vibe to it. Mm, this is so good. I really, really like this. I'm so happy that this is the one that came in the biggest size because I'm going to go through this. It's gorgeous. So. A lot of the cherry fragrances that I have kind of lean a little bit towards like the medicinal side or the cherry can sometimes get a little like too much. This is just perfection. The cherry is perfect. I get an almond vibe out of it. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. How stunning is this? Oh, I think this one's my favorite out of all of them so far and another 13. Those two are like speaking to me. All right, next up is another one that I was very excited to try. And this one I tried because of Anna Lauren's channel. I hope that I mentioned the name right, but I have been just loving her videos, even though we have like completely different tastes of fragrances, but I just have such a good time listening to people describe fragrances and review them. So I had, I was just binge watching her and I did see a video of hers where she talked about Juliet has a gun sunny side up. So she said that it was a beautiful fragrance that she fell in love with it. And I just had to try it because it sounded like the type of fragrance that I enjoy. The main accords for sunny side up are woody, musky, powdery, coconut, vanilla, amber, and warm spicy. The top notes are vanilla absolute, amiris, jasmine, and the middle notes are sandalwood, coconut milk, orris root, and jasmine again. Base notes are iso e super and ambrette. I mean, I just told you guys that I love ambrette. I love coconut, I love vanilla, jasmine. If the jasmine is too strong, that's where it could go wrong for me. I don't think this is going to be that way though. I think it's going to be more of like a creamy type of scent. Mmm, that's good. That is good. 
I definitely, fragrances with ambrette just make me happy. They are just so easy to wear. I'm gonna spray this one on my skin as well. This one is really, really nice, but I think I already have a fragrance that reminds me of this one, and that is Clean Reserve Solar Bloom, I think is the one. Yeah, it's definitely reminding me of that. I'm getting like a warm, creamy, yet musky fragrance. Really, really nice, again, for those of you who do not like very strong perfumes or you just want something that's a little bit more musky, that's not so perfumey, not floral, nothing like that. It's just very easygoing, perfect for every day as well. And the coconut, it's not like that sunscreen coconut or like that beachy coconut. I feel like it's more, it's more of like a creamy, subdued coconut. It's not an obnoxious in your face coconut. It just helps to make it more creamy, even though I also get kind of like a smoky vibe out of this one. Hmm. Very interesting fragrance. I wouldn't get the full size because I do have a fragrance that smells very, very similar to this. But if not, I would definitely get it because it's really, really nice. Perfect for everyday wear. This next one is another one that I have been very curious about because I did receive Amouage Blossom Love not too long ago and I'm struggling with that one a little bit. It feels like that might be like strictly like a winter fragrance for me. So I have been a little curious about the other Amouage fragrances. So this one is Amouage Sunshine Woman. The main accords are fruity, floral, white floral, almond, vanilla, woody, soft, spicy, aromatic, nutty, and sweet. The top notes are almond, blackcurrant, artemisia, Middle notes are osmanthus, vanilla, magnolia, and jasmine. And the base notes are white tobacco, papyrus, juniper, and patchouli. This one might be like a horrible one for me, or it can go good because a lot of people that kind of have similar taste as me, they, they enjoy this one. Or like I've heard good things, but I'm not a fan of black currant. And there's tobacco in here, which I have to be careful with, and patchouli. So let's see how this all mixes in together mm. wow hmm. i'm getting like a lot of a lot of notes are like jumping out at me so the opening was really really nice i have never smelled almond mixed with black currant because black currant sometimes can be way too much for me i feel like in this fragrance the almond kind of like softened the black currant it has a really nice scent. I smell the patchouli a little bit though, so if it stays the way that it is right now, I will enjoy it. But if the dry down has too much patchouli, then it would be a no for me. It's a very unique fragrance. I feel like the tobacco kind of adds like this dryness to it. And then the osmanthus is giving it kind of like a peachy, fruity type of scent in there. It's dry to me. It's very interesting. I wanna see, oh my God, I'm filled up with fragrances, but I wanna see how it smells on the skin. Such a different fragrance. Like I don't think I've ever smelled a fragrance that has this profile. Definitely gives me vibes of like the evening. It's really nice because I kind of get like a serious mood out of this one, but then I get like a sweet, friendly, bubbly, type of mood combined into one fragrance. It's nice, it's really nice. I think my skin is probably gonna pull the patchouli like it always does. There's something really, really nice about it. So I'm kind of like not too sure about this one yet. It's almost hard to explain this fragrance. I get fruitiness in there. The tobacco adds like this dryness to the fragrance. I get a little bit of patchouli and it's like a very sweet patchouli. It's not a dirty patchouli. It's nice, it's nice. It's just one that I wouldn't reach for all the time and it would be more of like a like once in a while type of fragrance. So I'm not sure if a full bottle would be worth it, but getting maybe like this size of this fragrance would be like a good idea. The last one we're going to be talking about is one that I already know I'm going to like it because I did have a leave-in conditioner with this scent in it and I loved it so much. And this is by Rado Mojave. Ghost, I think is how you say it, but the main accords for this fragrance are floral, woody, powdery, violet, fruity, musky, amber, and citrus. 
The top notes are sapodilla, which I have never heard of that. It looks like a fruit with ambrette. Middle notes are magnolia, violet, and sandalwood, and the base notes are ambergris and cedar. Let's see the last fragrance. Yeah, oh, this is so, so good. I want this in my collection. Bayredo makes a lot of beautiful fragrances and they're more like those types of fragrances when you're not in the mood to like smell beast mode. I have a lot of those days. I am more of like a musky type of girl. I love it. This is really, really nice to me. This is very feminine. It gives off kind of like a sexy vibe, but then it's still very casual where you can wear it every day, jeans and a shirt, or you can dress it up a little bit. I do get the violet a lot in this one, and violet is a note that I cannot stand, but in here it's done so beautifully because it adds a little bit of a feminine touch to the fragrance, but not too much. So it's just the right amount. This is a really, really nice one. So, so that brings me to the end of today's video. I strongly recommend this website. Scents Gift is amazing for you to try fragrances. You don't have to buy the full size bottle, or you don't have to risk doing a blind buy, not loving it, and spending so much money. I feel like this is a perfect way to try out fragrances. Try them for maybe a week or two so that you can see if you truly love it and if it's full bottle worthy. So I really, really love the idea of this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about sensegift.com and if you're going to be checking them out or if you've already purchased from them, let us know in the comment section as well. I'm going to be leaving all of the information to their website in my description box. Don't forget to use my code AMY20 to get 20% off of your order. And that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.